What's good, everyone? It's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video. And today, I actually just saw that UAD is having a massive half year sale. I do have some UAD plugins, but not too many, only because they're usually pretty pricey. But this is actually the, the best prices I've ever seen from them. Also, not sponsored by the way, not in contact with the UAD in any way, shape, or form. I just, you know, call it win of the sale, decided to check it out, and uh, picked up a few things. One being their Opal Synth, usually $200, it's on sale for $60 right now. I had two $25 vouchers, stacked them up, bam, got it for uh, $9, $10, $10 for a Wavetable Synth. I had to do it so that's what we're gonna dive into today and uh see what we can make from it we're gonna load it up make a beat with it uh go through some presets and uh just see what it can do all right let's start with the pad um i've actually used this before i ran a trial i was gonna make a video but it just never happened i used it like once or twice just to check it out i didn't really make anything with it i was just messing around and i remember the pad sounds really good so let's go into a pad I'm gonna look for a, maybe a pluck or a bell sound. I like how this sounds layered, let's uh, throw on a bass. I'm gonna dig around for a perk loop. Why not two perk loops? Oh, this sounds pretty good. Let's uh, throw on some drums. So here we are in the session. Um, honestly, track is okay. Ain't the best. I do like the melodies and the perk loops and stuff like that, but I think I did kind of ruin it with the drums. But hey, that's just a part of beat making, you know? Not everything's gonna turn out really fire. Sometimes you end up with something that's just okay. But it's all good, because we ain't really here for the drums, you know what I'm saying? So let's look at the melodic sounds. That's what I'm using Opal on. If you look at the channels, only EQ, no other effects, because you know when I do these uh, synth videos, instrument videos, I try not to put effects on them, just so you can hear how it really sounds. And first impressions, even though I have used it before, but I haven't used it in a very long time. Sounds are very quality, they sound really warm, they sound really full, pads sound lush, basses sound fat, that's all you really need, you know what I'm saying? Let's pull up the synth, here we are. Um, I haven't really dived too much into it, so take this video as more of a first look rather than an in-depth look, only because I haven't really sound designed in it myself. I can only speak for the current sounds from the presets and me messing around slightly. But looking at the synth in the main page, you got three oscillators, two filters, the macro knobs up here, which uh, you know of course change depending on what you're trying to do, and uh, also through the presets, if you scroll through them, they change as well. They, um, you know, they're macro knobs. <laughs> what I will say that's good about this is that when I open it up, there's a lot of features, but at the same time, I'm not overwhelmed. Maybe it's because I do have a basic knowledge of synthesis, but just looking at it, it seems actually pretty simple and intuitive to use. You just got to really dive into it and uh, get to know it. But let's go through some sounds. So we're going to use these pads and go through the pads. We're going to go through some bells and go through some basses, turn off the EQ, and uh, yeah, let's uh, get to some sounds. First, actually, before we get into it, let's look at the preset browser. I'm not sure how many presets it contains because it doesn't say, but you can split it up by genre, type, 
description even. So let's go to type and let's go to pad. All right, so those are some of the pads. Um, sound very full, sound very good. And looking through the presets, they're very diverse sounds, which really gives you a good idea of what this synth can do. So now let's move on to the bells. All right, so that's all the bell sounds. Honestly, super usable sounds just straight out of the box. Um, yeah, let's move on to the bass.
Uh, so that's some of the base plugins, super diverse. A lot of them are super unique as well. Honestly, just from hearing those presets, I can definitely hear this used in like electronic production. So if you do a lot of like EDM stuff and stuff like that, definitely would recommend checking this out. All right, so after cooking up with it, going through some presets, honestly, for $60, definitely worth it. Um, you might even have more discounts. But if you're looking for a synth, I would check out Polymax, which is also by UAD. For me personally, it's better, but it might not be better for you. I'll leave a video, uh, have it pop up. You can check it out yourself. I would also check out other UAD stuff. Uh, this is, again, like I said, is the biggest sale. And again, like I said, not sponsored, not in contact at all. None of that, just my opinions. You know, always worth checking out. Also, make sure you're eligible to even use them because some plugins require UAD hardware to use. So definitely make sure you're not getting something you can't use. But that is gonna be for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know exactly what you think and subscribe for more videos. It really does help me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. And of course, check out my social media and my music on all stream platforms, Spotify, Apple, Tidal, you name it, I'm there. All links in the description, go check it out. And uh, let me know what you think. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace. They don't know what it takes for you to chase your dreams. All these sacrifices don't know what it brings. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. Blinded by the lights in the limousines. But all I care about.